Hello and welcome to this Silhouette tutorial. I'm Ben Brownlee for Boris Effects and we're going to be taking a look at the tighter Mocha Pro integration with Silhouette 2022. And here's the shot that we're going to be working on. And I've done some of the work for us already. So I've got our original footage. I have run a degrain on it and I've already tracked this in Mocha Pro. So let's take a look at what we've got. Okay, I've got two layers. I've got a chest warp layer where I've tracked in a mesh warp over the, uh, over the chest, that's looking all right. And I also have a chest mask layer. Let's take a little look at this, turn that on. And this is just a shape that is linked to the chest mesh warp, just so that we can use this to, uh, to cut out stuff later. Let's come out of this. I've already saved this, so I'm not going to save this again. And let's use this directly within Silhouette. Now, in previous versions of Silhouette, if I'd have wanted to use the track data or the shape data, I'd have had to have exported that out of Mocha Pro and then pasted that into Silhouette. But I actually don't have to do that now. So with the Mocha Pro node selected, you'll see in the timeline that we have the data exposed as keyframes straight away. And because we have all of this data exposed to us, we can use this in a number of different ways. A common way of working with this is gonna be done in the node parameters. I have a new action menu over in the top right-hand corner. If I click on this, I can do one of three things. I can either copy the data, I can create a roto node, or I can create a tracker node. So if I click create tracker node, it's gonna create a new tracker node for me with layers and shapes as they were in Mocha. So I have my chest mask layer with my chest mask shape. I have my chest mask warp with my chest mask warp shape. And I also have my chest mask mesh. But because we're in a tracker node, that's not doing anything for us yet. So if I come up to my viewer and come up to my chest warp, There we go, and stabilize the viewer around that. And that's gonna be handy if we want to use this to do any sort of further road scoping. Okay, let's uh, set my viewer back to none. I'm gonna come back into my Mocha Pro node and I'm gonna to come to my actions again and create a Roto node. Let's bring this over here, move this out of the way and I'm gonna alt click just to add another dot node inside there. And inside my Roto node, I have the same things as we saw within the tracker node. I have the chest mask and the mask shape, chest mesh warp and the chest mesh warp shape. If I click on my mesh now, you can see that I have my mesh available and visible. And we can take that color down a little bit if we need to. There we go, excellent. So no copying and pasting. I've just got my layers and splines available directly within my Roto nodes. So no going back and forth, copying and pasting multiple elements within Mocha Pro. Everything is just coming through using these node actions. Now there is another way of using the Mocha Pro data directly. And if you notice, there's actually a yellow data port coming directly out of our Mocha Pro node. So what this means is that I connect Mocha Pro to another node that has the, uh, the data port input, something like paint or transform, I can use that Mocha Pro data directly. So let's see how that works. Let's bring in a, uh, bring in a transform. I'll bring in a, bring in a color. Make this a little color square. And let's just pipe the Mocha Pro data into the data port on the transform. So now I can come in and I can choose the mode. So we'll, we'll just take a little simple match move here and I can then pick my layer. So it will be the chest mask and that will transform that around for me and copy that over. You can see it's nice and straightforward. And I'll just get rid of these again because I want to show you one other new node. So if I come into warp, I have a power mesh warp node that also conveniently has a data port into it. Now remember, in our Mocha Pro, we created power mesh data. 
So if I take my data out of Mocha Pro into my Power Mesh Warp node, I can choose the mesh that I want to take out. It's gonna be my chest mesh warp. And let's just cache that in. You can see it is, uh, I've, I've set my mode to warp. I've set my precision to draft. And it's now warping along with the main footage. Should we see if it's actually doing that? I think that's probably a good idea. Let's come over to composite. We'll just pipe that in, mix that back a little bit, and you can see it is actually coming through nicely. And so at this moment, I realize I probably shouldn't have uh, gotten rid of the roto node, but that's no problem. I can just come back in here, create my roto node again, nice and easy. Just connect it over here so it's a bit neater. And I would just use my chest mask, pipe that into the composite there, and let's play that back. And you can see that's warping along really nicely. We can even use that power mesh warp to create a locked down version of our clip. So if I come back into warp, power mesh warp, let's hook that in here. There we go. Bring in the Mocha Pro data into it. Choose my mesh, go unwarp, play that back. You can see we've got a nicely mesh stabilized version of this. So we do paint work or inserts, whatever we need to do on that. And then once we've worked on the stabilized version, we can destabilize it again with the mesh warp set to warp, just as we did previously. So with the new tighter Mocha Pro integration, we have node actions, we have the new data port to pass through tracking data and power mesh data into the new power mesh warp node. We can of course extend this data out into other nodes, including the DOD, but you'll be able to find out more information about that in another tutorial. My name is Ben Brownlee for Boris Effects, and I'll see you again soon. If you want to learn more about Silhouette, Mocha Pro, or any of the other Boris FX products, join us at borisfx.com for hours of free tutorials and to download yourself a free trial version.